<laughs> I was. I thought you were gonna wait for my cat. Uh, I've got that on film, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is the good stuff right here. Yeah. So. All right, I go on my turn. Whenever. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Benjamin Chang. Um, he was born in Hong Kong, China, where he spent the next 15 years of his life up until middle school. Um, Reaching middle school, after middle school, he moved to New Hampshire, where he studied at a boarding school for high school. Um, and surprisingly, Ben was not scared at all to move. It wasn't until college he was actually, ironically, he was scared to move um, from back from Hong Kong to uh, Pepperdine. He was more scared than <coughs> in high school. Coming to America, Ben had to face some adversities in his life. Um, racial, as you could assume, since he is Chinese, he had to deal with questions like, do you guys really eat dog meat? Um, if you have extra children, will they be killed? Um, and in case you're wondering, no, that's not the case. Uh, families with extra children are just heavily taxed, and there's no dog meat in China. So, and maybe in very poor communities, but that's this, like the same as L.A., Skid Row. Uh, ben was not affected by this because his grandfather taught him two important life lessons. As, as his greatest influence in life, his grandfather told him to remember these two things and follow these two things throughout his entire life. And those two things were pave your own way through life, um, follow your dreams, and don't, don't be counting on your parents' dreams for you. They Don't make their dreams your dreams. Live your own life and be your own person. And the second uh, life lesson that he gave him was be a man of dignity and never lose sight of that. And that helped him through the racial stereotypes when he was in high school. Uh, ben living by these messages had to study, or sorry, living by these messages, Ben wanted to study in LA. Um, and obviously he's studying school here in Pepperdine. Um, he wanted to go to the city for the beautiful California sunshine, um, and he just likes the big city life, life of LA uh, with lots of culture. Um, there's Chinese culture, Korean culture, there's all types of culture that surrounds us, and so that was a big part of him moving to LA. Uh, interviewing Ben, I got to know him really well. I consider him one of my new friends that I have found. Um, we have a lot of things in common, one of them being hockey. Ben coached the hockey team in his senior year of high school. Um, he coached the New Hampshire hockey team for his high school, and they're actually number one in his region, uh, which is pretty impressive to be coaching at a young age. Aside from sports, we share um, other things in common, such as music. Uh, both of us have a passion for music, and music is a huge part of our lives. Um, I think he finds music as an escape from struggles in life and stress, just like I do. Um, and we share the same genres of music. I listen all the way down to 40s. He listens very old, too. Uh, he likes the 60s, nostalgic type of music. He listens to the Beach Boys, uh, In Excess, Depeche Mode. Um, And then with that, I uh, hopefully hopefully you found that you were better connected to Ben, and I really enjoyed speaking to Ben and interviewing him and finding a new friend throughout this speech. Um, it was a lot of fun getting to know him. Okay.